Why, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. If you guys don't remember last time we started our attack on the Ocean Monument, uh, I'm going to speak really quick so that we get all of our stuff done. Um, okay, so we're going to go, we're going to get in our boat, we're going to go back over there. Um, I did a little bit of research, search, but we'll cover that as I get headed back over there. We do have a boat, correct? I thought we made a second boat. Um, where is it? I, I guess, oh wait, we, we, we have it in the chest, we have it in the chest. Okay, um... So basically, I did a little bit more research. It turns out that we've already taken out one of the the um, one of the main bosses in the Ocean Monument. There are still let's go ahead and eat, uh, drink this up while we while we travel. Um, there are still two more, one in each wing. Now there's one in the front of of this wing here, and there's one in the front of that wing there. Uh, there's two wings, and then obviously we have the 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 main boss up in the top middle now. I should probably go ahead and mention that we should have gone ahead and made invisibility potions because if you don't know, invis invisibility potions will allow these little guys right here not to see us and, and, and not be able to do that and be able to do damage to us. So so uh, if, if we wanted to, we could probably... Um, resist some damage so now we need to we need to think of the layout of this now we need to go to the wing there's a wing over here we need to end up over there somewhere so why don't we go ahead and travel through here a little bit um okay so it looks like this is one of the dead ends that we had found we, we do need to but we need to make it up we got to keep in mind exactly which way we're doing going and which way we need to head now there was holy crap there are a lot of enemies in this room okay okay that that still is scary uh, I don't really care who, who you are. Uh, that, that that is freaky. Now, like I said, those guys would would stop doing damage to us if we uh, if we had an invisibility potion. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to rough it though. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on our times. Remember, let's go ahead and pop these guys out and put another potion of night vision, another potion of water breathing right into our hot bar, just so we know. Okay, so this is the way we're supposed to go. Uh, remember, obviously, if you hit them while those spikes are out, you're gonna get hurt. Um, ow, 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 ow. Stop, stop, stop. So so basically, we have mining fatigue. If you guys don't know um due to do the bosses still being alive uh, and like i said there are still two more bosses so this is the way we need to go now which way are we headed um okay so we came up here right we came yeah we came through here okay okay yeah so we came up here this way holy crap i'm already turned around uh hold on let me let me take a look again get out of here i need to know where the front is i always forget uh, you know what we should have done? Uh, this is probably a pro tip for, for, for people that have not run this monument before or done this monument before. Uh, okay, so we know where the front is, right? So let's F3 and we'll see which way we're facing. We're facing west. So so the front is to the west. I apologize about that. I found it now. Uh, the water flowing in here is kind of annoying now. There was another pro tip uh, that I saw online and it was that you should probably, you can probably bring ladders into here and use them as, as, a, as an air pocket because you can just line up ladders and ladders don't get deleted by water as we know so we may have to come if we if we do have to come back here we will use ladders now we, we need to be facing west which is to our left holy crap there are still a ton of guys here um okay so that's the gold room that's not where we need to be though um we need to be okay we've seen these rooms up here maybe stop ow okay uh what's what's in here like I said, this is really, really gets me turned around. <gasps> There's a boss. Okay, let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, get our strength potion. Okay, and we'll go ahead and fight him. Where would he go? Here he is. Two. Ow! 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 <gasps> we got him. Okay, let's get his drops. Okay, sweet. Now we need to um. We need to find two more. Where are we? I think th is this the one at the top? This may be the one at the top, and now we may need to get the f uh, one more boss. But what we're gonna do is we hold on. Let me check my let me check my uh, my breathing. Okay, we have four minutes left on our breathing, and we still have two more potions of each. Remember, we made three per each trip, but we kind of siphoned it off a little bit differently. Um, okay, here's the gold room, gold room, and there's the exit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna get to the exit. Okay, excuse me. Ouch, ouch. Um, this is why we have our potions of healing, though. Go ahead and drink up. Okay, and then where's the exit? Oh, we've been to that room, been to that room. No, 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 no. Stop hitting me, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm too close to you now. That's right. Okay, so there's the final boss. Oh, he's right through here. Please, please, no. How are we gonna how are we gonna get to him? Um Potion we have our potion of water breathing. Like I said, we gotta keep an eye on that. Ooh, can we go up and then back down maybe? Oh, there he is. Is that him? Is this the final one? He's is he through here? And down here? Oh, he is. Okay, okay, let's let's get a, another potion of strength. Um, drink up. Okay, awesome. And now now let's hit him. 
Where is he? It's right here. Ow, ow. Okay. We got him. Okay, we got his drops. Um, now, our mining fatigue is supposed to go away after this 1 minute and 20 seconds, but we still need to figure out a way out of here. Now, we can clear out the the ocean monument using dry sponges, which is actually pretty cool, if you ask me. Um, and using a combination of dry sponges and ladders, we can come back here, and we can start to dominate this area. Now, this this dirt tells me that we've been to these rooms before, and we've t we've told ourselves to block them off. Oh, and then this is that gold room that I always talk about. Um, hopefully, our mining fatigue, like I said, goes away. we got to eat up so we don't die here. Okay, we're good. Um, is this is this the gold room that, that there should be an exit to? Oh, there's the front door! Okay, let's get out to the front door and let's swim up. Remember, we've killed three bosses. I'm not sure if more will spawn. No, no, no. It's because, oh, there's so many guys in here now. Oh! No, okay, okay, we need we need a potion of instant healing. We need a potion of instant healing. Please, please, please. Okay, we got, we got one. Okay, another potion of instant healing. Health, please, please, please. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, and now now let's go ahead and, and get our uh, no no more potions of night water breathing yet, right? No, we still have another two minutes. We should be able to get to the front door by then. Let's go ahead and, and keep moving through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Get our way, get away. Okay, let's go ahead and try to try to get to the surface here. Okay, okay. Come on. Ow, ow, ow. Remember, like I said, we can have potions of, of invisibility here. Uh, I don't see any more uh, boss tails like coming through the walls down here. That's something that we needed to keep an eye out for as well. These guys attack squid, which is pretty cool because I hate squid. But these guys seem like something I don't like even more. Now, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll go ahead and chill out around here for a little bit. And we'll see if that mining fatigue goes away because that means that we have officially beaten all the bosses in here. Um, okay, so there is no more mining fatigue. Let's go ahead and, and go underwater here and see how close we can get or if we can get uh, close at all and um, and mine any of this. So let's go. Oh, wow. Do you see how fast we did that now? Okay, and we don't have mining fatigue, right? Right? Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. So that means that we have officially beaten the Ocean Monument. Congratulations, everybody. We made it through in just two easy episodes uh, and we prepped perfectly for it. Now, these guys are going to keep doing damage to us as long as... As long as they can, uh, basically. So, so give me a minute here, you guys, and I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know the next plan of attack on this ocean monument because we're not done with it yet. I kind of want to empty it out, and I want to take a look around and, and check out the rooms and break through the walls and, and take a look at it, really, because I haven't had a chance to do so with the ocean monument yet. So, like I said, just give me a minute here, and I will, I will do some planning for us, and we will be ready to move on. All right, you guys, we are back. Now, here is the game plan. Obviously, I, uh, I cleaned up our inventory just a tad bit, got rid of some things that we don't need. Now, I wanted to show you guys this. These are wet sponges, and wet sponges are, uh, they can be cooked clearly, just like any other uh, material that can be cooked. Um, but wet sponges, when cooked, create a sponge. Now, dry sponges, I don't know if you know this, but we can place it down in water and it will suck up a lot of water in the area. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these these few wet sponges going and then we're going to head back. We're going to drink a water breathing potion and uh, and we'll also bring our furnace in there and hopefully we can start setting up shop to, to pick up more sponges in there and uh, and keep keep doing that until the whole inside of the monument is is uh, is basically dry. So, so let me go ahead and sleep here and then we will uh, we'll get to that in the morning. All right, and there we go. I went ahead and picked up the furnace as well. Now, let's go ahead and get over there. Uh, like I said, potion of water breathing, potion of night vision, and let's 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 do the siege. Now, I know that we had taken the top there before, um, but I think our best bet is to go... Actually, you know what? The top might be the best best choice for us. Now, let's go ahead and, and just get out of our boat right up top here. We Did, did we leave that hole in the fortress? We did. Cool. Okay, so like I said... Um, we can we can take advantage of the use of sponges hopefully here and we can clear out some of this water uh, as you can see the water is picked up by these sponges um unfortunately water respawns doesn't it oh it's because oh, okay i know i know um it's because we're, we're not eliminating the 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 amount of uh, of water like it can fix it and repair itself in here so what we need to do is we could we're probably better off doing something like this right I know this didn't work last time, but it should work this time. Right, and we'll create a room here. Oh, we're out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Like I said, well, yeah, we're making a room here. Like this, and hopefully this can't repair itself now. Uh, you can see the water is still flowing towards the sponge, though. Oh, no. Okay, now let's try to, let's try to uh, take like, water from here. Okay, see, and now it won't auto repair itself up here. So, 
What, what just hit me? Ouch! Ouch! Now, if we place a sponge here, will that get rid of it? Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, so now, like I said, we're going to place down a furnace. And we are going to we're gonna put this, and we're going to continue to do this for quite a while uh, in in here. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know when I've made uh, a quite quite a bit more progress. I know that, um, that it, it would be annoying for you guys to watch me clear out a few floors here. So let me do that, and I'll be back with you guys here in a minute. All right, and we are back, you guys. As you can see, I've cleared out quite a bit of the, of the rooms now. Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and show you quite a little bit of it. So this is the top. Uh, this is how we get out of the Ocean Monument, the top of the Ocean Monument. I obviously put up some stairs. Uh, that was really Jaws-like. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, so yeah, this this is our these are our ladders. I had limited resources, obviously, to do so. Oh yeah, and I have a potion of night vision. I saved one while I was working. I knew I was gonna want it so that you guys can actually kind of see a little bit more while we're down in here and I'm showing off this kind of thing. Because these lights they give off light, but uh, not too much. So yeah, like I was saying, I was um I was taking the wet sponges. I was laying down wet sponges or, or dry sponges and uh, and picking up a bunch of water. Uh, I'm trying to think of places like that we can go so I can show you some cool stuff. Oh yeah, we, we, we I wanted to show you actually first this room. Uh, this room was crazy hard to get all the water out of. As you can see, we have some residual sponges here. Um, but apparently there's some gold blocks inside of this. Uh, if, I, if I read collect correctly online. So why don't we go ahead and, and just dig our way through here. And ooh, there it is there is the treasure oh that is so cool awesome so now we have some awesome some gold i guess to work with if we need to that is so awesome uh and then as well as in this room uh, i wanted to just show you guys this these are what the rooms look like uh you'll find them up here and they'll be full of wet sponges uh that's where i got more sponges while i was working i, I took those three sponges and i swam my way over here using one of our water breathing potions and i took a bunch more from this room um just making sure and that uh, and some from this room as well and then um and, and yeah, so, so you guys should know that, that I was using a ton of sponges, and it did take a long time. Uh, I've been recording for almost an hour now, or probably a little bit over an hour, just so I could get this all set up for you guys. Um, here we go. I figured I'd show you this. Oh, hey, a dry sponge. I guess I just didn't use that. Cool. So yeah, I made myself some ladders as well, as you can see, uh, at the front at the front entrance, so that now the, the water can stay out the front. We don't have to worry about blocking this all completely. We can come and go as we please in here. Now, there are obviously rooms that uh, still have a ton of water in them. I'm not sure exactly how to get to them. Uh, there was the really big room that we fought the last boss in, if you remember that one. I did not, I did not get all of the wet sponge out of that. I, I No, I know for a fact, not wet sponge. I did not get all the... Um, the water out of that i know that for a fact because i saw the room and i was like holy crap this is going to be a big project uh, i should probably just go ahead and, and record for you guys and show you guys exactly where uh or exactly what this what this place looks like all uh all cleaned out and, and now we can walk around like i said without having to worry about water bubbles uh or air bubbles um i don't know should we convert this into something obviously you can hear those guys jumping around a little bit uh that is because they're drowning like this room see we have we have this room do i have some dry sponges i do have a dry sponge uh so i figured out the best technique to do is, is to start at the top of the room so let's say here right and then that will create an air pocket and then once you have the air pocket if you if you stay above air you actually mine a little bit faster uh if you're touching the ground and are above air it's even better um but yeah so, so like i said I, there's a lot of this i have not done yet um but but that's a pro tip you guys you guys go ahead and use it trust me it helps you start at the top of the room and you work your way down i do not know what is going on with this that looked a little bit awkward. Um, okay, yeah. So, so you guys, that's that's pretty much the Ocean Monument. I cannot believe that we defeated it in two episodes, and we we killed two guys in the final in the final episode. I, I think that was really amazing of us. Why don't we go ahead and, and get to shore and take a look at our bounty? Um, because wow, that was that was absolutely amazing. Um, as you can see, I still have some residual potions. Uh, if I was going to do it again, I would definitely um, have brought invisibility potions because then those little guys right there, they can't see us. Um, and then they can't target us. And if they can't target us, then they can't deal damage. Uh, the strength potions were an absolutely amazing choice, though. We could take out the bosses in three hits, which is absolutely ridiculous 
ridiculous. Uh, so that was that was a great call there, you guys. Thank you so much for the suggestion in the comments. Uh, let's go ahead and crash the boat because we're not going back out there uh, right away, uh, anytime soon at least. Uh, yeah, but if you have suggestions for the Ocean Monument, uh, please let me know. The Ocean Monuments, obviously are the only place that those guys spawn so we can use that to our advantage i guess and farm some of their resources even though it didn't really seem like they had a bunch of great stuff they dropped this pres marine shards uh which i believe can be put together to make different types of blocks so let's go ahead and, and give that a shot yeah and you can make pres marine and all that and cook it and make bricks and all that good stuff i'm sure we'll cover it in another episode um and we get prism and crystals which i believe are put with oh yeah prism and crystals which are which are put together in order to make the glow the the glowstone of of the underwater uh and then we we obviously get a bunch of raw fish so if we wanted a bunch of raw fish uh really easily we could we could start a farm with those instead of actually having to right click and fish the whole time but then you then you don't get the rare fish drops uh so th that's something to think about but yeah so that's that's gonna be it for this episode guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to hit that like button if you're new to the channel hey maybe hit that subscribe button and uh, i hope to see you all really soon